Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download SRTM digital elevation model data for basically any region in the world using QGIS. Now, I have done a tutorial quite some time back showing how we can download SRTM digital elevation data in raster format using USGS Earth Explorer web portal. However, the main advantage in the method that I'm going to show you in this tutorial when it comes to downloading SRTM elevation data within QGIS itself is that you're never going to have to leave your QGIS workspace and you know spend time to search data in external platforms. You could just do it with a click of a button while you're working on your project in QGIS itself. So for this we're going to have to use a plugin called SRTM Downloader. And downloading plugins in QGIS is actually quite easy. Now over here I have opened my QGIS workspace. So if you head over to plugins and go to manage and install plugins, what you can do is simply search for the plugin called SRTM Downloader. You can see the very first prompt and the only prompt is SRTM Downloader. So to install the plugin, we can just click over here and that'll take care of the installation process. And after that, if you head over to plugins, you can see that this new plugin called SRTM Downloader has appeared over here. So I'm going to click on that. So when using SRTM Downloader, what you can do is you can actually use your current canvas in order to specify the boundaries for which you would like to download your SRTM data. Now, when doing that, it's actually always handy to have a base map so that we can use that base map as a guidance tool to navigate into the place that we would like to download the SRTM data for. So I'm going to download another plugin called Quick Map Services through which I would be able to install a free and open source base map called uh, OpenStreetMap. So I'm going to download this second plugin as well, which is called Quick Map Services. I would have to search it over here. Quick Map Services. And let's go ahead and install that plugin as well. All right, once the installation is done, if you want to access the Quick Map Services plugin, you have to head over to web instead of uh, plugins because it actually gets installed or categorized on the web. So right over here, you can see the new plugin that we installed called Quick Map Services. And I'm going to select OSM, which stands for OpenStreetMaps. And I'm going to select OSM Standard. All right, guys, now you can see that we have this OpenStreetMap. And the next thing that I would recommend you to do is to actually go over here and change the coordinate reference system of the data frame. Now, after adding the OpenStreetMap, you can see that the coordinate reference system has been changed to EPSG 3857. However, I would recommend you guys to set this back to EPSG 4326, which is the WGS 1984 geographic coordinate reference system. Because when using the SRTM downloader, it's essential that we capture the coordinates in the proper coordinate reference system so that it can communicate with its source and extract the corresponding SRTM tiles that you would require for your area of interest. So I'm going to click over here and, and right over here you can see the EPSG 4326 coordinate reference system. So let's click on that and click OK. And now all you have to do is just zoom into your area of interest. Let's say for this particular tutorial I would like to download the DMs corresponding to this southern part of Italy. So I'm just going to zoom into a random location like this. All right, assuming that this is the area for which I would like to have my digital elevation models downloaded. All right, once you have sort of navigated to your area of interest, what you can do is you can refine your extent using this zoom in tool and draw a rectangle like this, making sure to encompass all the areas for which you would like to have your SRTM data downloaded. So in my case, it's going to be something like this. All right, now after that, just make sure that you don't actually change your extent. And in the next step, I'm going to head over to plugins and open up this SRTM downloader plugin. And since you have already set the canvas extent, all you have to do is just click right over here and it's going to automatically extract the western, eastern, northern and southern boundaries 
of your specified extent and it's going to grab all the DEM tiles that are actually available to fill that particular extent from the original data source. And if this is not ticked, you can actually uh, put a tick over here, load images to QGIS because then all your, all your DEM files will be added to your working interface. And finally, all you have to do is just click over here on download. Now, as soon as you do that, you can see that before the downloading process starts, it's asking me to enter a username and a password. Well, before that, you can see that it has actually identified four images. That means for this area that I specified, it'll be extracting four different SRTM tiles because that's the number of tiles that it would require to actually fully cover this extent which I have specified. And before it goes ahead and downloads these tiles, it's actually asking me to enter a username and a password. Now from here, you can see that the source from which it's going to download this data is actually going to be this NASA Earth Data web portal. Now, if you're doing this process for the very first time, it's essential that you actually click over here and head over to this portal and create a username and a password for yourself. But once you have done that, in every subsequent try, you're not going to require a registration process anymore. You can just directly use your username and password, which you created the first time. And if I click over here, this is how the register for an Earth Data Login Profile web page is actually going to look like. Just scroll down and input the necessary information. It's actually going to take only a couple of minutes. And the process is quite uh, self-explanatory. Once you register for Earth Data Login, what you're going to get is basically a username and a password. And for this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you guys are actually able to do this step by yourself because it's not going to be complicated at all. So once you have obtained your username and password, you can enter your username over here and your password over here and just go ahead and click OK. And with that, you can see that it actually downloaded a sufficient amount of data to fully cover the area of interest that I specified before using my zoom in tool. And if I now go ahead and close this window, you can see that these are the four tiles that I would actually require to fully cover my specified area of interest. Now, just as a side note, if you would like to group or merge all of these tiles together into one single tile, you can go to raster and under miscellaneous, there's one tool called merge. And if you click over here, the input layers, what you can do is you can just select all the input layers like this. In this case, it's going to be four different layers and click OK. And after that, just click run. And once the processing is finished, you can just untick these uh, four different individual tiles. And with that, you will see that you will get one single raster file called merged right over here. And that's basically a mosaic of the four different tiles that you had previously. And guys, this is a standard SRTM digital elevation model file in the form of a raster. So that means you can just, if you click over here and go to properties, you can do things like change the color scheme. Let's say if we go ahead with single band pseudo color, you can actually assign a proper color ramp like this through which you would be able to identify the lower regions and the higher regions. So in this color scale, you can see that the higher regions are actually given in this uh, reddish colors. And of course, the lower regions are shown in this uh, bluish colors. And if you would like to save this digital elevation model into a separate file, you can just right click over here, go to export, click save as. And you can select the format over here and we can use GeoTIFF as the file format. And from here, just navigate to the folder to which you would like to save this file. And then you can give it a file name. I'm just going to call this as DEM and click save and click OK. And you can see that the extraction process is happening right over here. And once it's done, you will get a new file called DEM. So what we can do is we can basically get rid of these other files that we do not really need. So guys, that's pretty much it. If you would like to repeat the process for a completely different area, well, all you have to do is just zoom into your area of interest again, like this. 
I'm just going to do a quick demo for you guys. And once you are happy with the setting of your canvas extent, go back to plugins, SRTM downloader, set the canvas extent and simply click over here on download. And in this case, you can see that it's actually showing only one image. One image is sufficient to cover this particular extent. Just click over here on OK after adding your username and password. And just in a matter of few seconds, it's going to download that SRTM tile for you guys. Just like this. So you guys can imagine how easy this process is actually going to be after you have set up a username and password using the NASA Earth Data Web Portal for the very first time. You can download as many DMs as you need for any area basically on the globe without having to ever exit your QGIS project. Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you did like this tutorial, you can show your support by hitting that like button and if you do have any questions, add a comment down below. I'll see you guys again with another tutorial soon.